Heroes will be made and dreams will come true in the next two weeks. Who's going to capture our imagination by becoming the Cinderella of this year's big dance? Nick and I will find out starting in today's game between the TCU Horn Frogs and the Utah State Aggies. Hey, Brad, the NCAA tournament is the reward. After a long season of practices, tough games, and all of those other rigors, the tournament is their pinnacle. The Aggies are in for what should be an easy one tonight, Dick, but how do they stay interested enough to win this game? Interested enough, Brad. They still have to do the following things. Number one, set good interior screens to free up your big men on the block. Look to the inside first. Secondly, be monsters on the boards. Don't be afraid to get tangled up. Crash the glass. Lastly, keep it simple defensively and play as a unit. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Both teams looking to get things going here. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. They work it around the perimeter. Edwards handles the feed from right at the circle. The Aggies define a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Kicks it out. Problem with that, when you front it, you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you've got to get help because you've got to see raw man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. Rush receives the pass. Intercepted. Look at that spacing. Dumps it in. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and look at the crowd, and look at the reaction. I did the whole fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. For the bucket. Look at that time. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> he got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. He's working on that low block and that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Got an open look if he wants it. And he'll kick it back outside. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Puts up the shot. Way off target. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Trying to go inside. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Oh, hard screen felt by the defender. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Trying to feed inside. Double team now, bad angle. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. This just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I'll tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Looking for a good shot. Here's a double team. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. They look to get it to the inside. Goes up for two. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. If he keeps this up, he may collapse. His teammates must pick it up. 
The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I'll tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Jumps into the defender. Basket falls despite the contact. The power forward handles the pass. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Moving it around the perimeter. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Our trifecta for the Knights. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. Big Vitale. I'm Brad Nestler. Nice to have you along with us. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Woods receives the ball. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. A uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Good job defensively. They just won't get many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> Time for the ball with a deck. Where is he going? Pass down the guy in the post to go the other way. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. Good athletic move. Very athletic. He's got great athleticism. Barnes is feeling great out there right now. He may be in the zone right now, Brad. For two, perfectly executed. <laughs> the skip pass is picked off. Fakes the jumper for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind. He's flopping, baby. Dump it inside. He makes a nice shot fake. He up fakes. Let's watch the move as he works his man and on a fadeaway jumper. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. On the dribble, gives it up. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. They're working around the arc. There's the trap. 
That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, Doc. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Boy, terrible execution on offense. On the outside. Trying to draw the foul. Makes it. Count that as a personal foul. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, with the score so close, both teams seem so intense on their benches right now. Both coaches have told me it all comes down to turnovers and miscues. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Perfectly executed. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. There's the fake. Pump thanks. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. The Aggies have a number of seniors in their lineup. That factor alone will definitely help their coach. Ball down low, puts it on the floor. Turn around a fadeaway. Working it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries to get the D to bite. Now they work it around the perimeter. Had a momentary look from three-point land. That was nice. Take some pride on a defensive end. Nice hops. Stolen away. Change in possession. The defense knocked it loose, then went and got it. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be a Skywalker. Elevating and throwing it down, Mr. Nestle. How much fun would that be? Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. I love this guy, Hook. You can't unblock that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use him? job defensively they'd like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah they're really doing a great job packing it in then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass got oh, a nice it. screen and has it rejected defense did a great job with that block shot Moving it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Kicks it out. Launches the three. He buries the shot. This is simply a great play, Brad. They'll work it around the arc. Tries for two. And he scores despite the hack. The 
there's a double team waiting there. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. There they come with a double team to stop it. Three. Ten on the shot clock. Utah State are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Lane fakes the shot, puts it on the floor and up and under. I think did a great job creating a good angle, too, when he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. He drains the shot. Let's see it if the replay does that any justice. Double team now, bad angle. He shoots from the top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. They work it around the perimeter. Up and inside. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. The Aggies have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. Gave it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Here they go into transition. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Just play, son, just play. Let your game do the taunting. Got a man in high post. Picks off the pass. fake. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Foul charge. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Look at that spacing. Here's a double team. And a momentary look from three-point land. He blocks the shot. Buried it. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys are reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Just too slow to stay with his man, Dick, and he picks up the foul. Well, two mistakes. Number one, he lets him get the ball in that deep. And number two, he doesn't have any footwork. and doesn't move and beat him to the spot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. There's a whistle and a foul on the inside. What a great job of putting the ball to the floor and attacking the basket, taking advantage of a slow post play. He shoots from left of the circle. He buries it. Working it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Fakes the shot. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He shoots from the top of the circle. 
He drills the trifecta. There it is, Jam City. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. Thanks, Aaron. Oh, I don't think any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times you have a great post play, you got a chance to be able to win. On the outside. For two. And he missed. The crowd loves this young man. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. The Aggies throw a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. They work it around the perimeter. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They work it around the perimeter. Entry pass and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Moving it around the perimeter. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. He attempts the trifecta. Shot was no good, baby. Beautiful use of the screen, though. Cue up the replay, fellas. And a momentary look from three-point land. He puts it up. Not this time. Perfectly executed. Here it is. Let's see if they go two for one here, Dick. Here's the three ball. He drains it. away the pass. Gets it back out. On the dribble, gives it up. There he is, strips the ball loose. Shot clock is dead. There was no doubt about that one. the perimeter and has it rejected defense did a great job with that block shot way off target at the end of the first half these teams are all even Dick what would you say is the play of the half in this tightly knit affair hey when the three balls are falling Brad you feel like your team can do anything baby as we see in this long distance bomb well it looks like the teams are just about set for the second half let's get back to the action Utah State shot lights out from the floor in the first half. I'll tell you, they executed exactly the way the coaching staff envisioned in their game plan. Huge credit goes to the players for making it happen on the floor. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. This defense isn't yielding an inch. Hey, the offense looks very timid, Brad. For 
the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. They'll work it around the arc. A whistle and a foul. The coach not happy on the sideline. Points off turnovers, Dick. A stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy basket. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. There's a double team waiting there. He shoots from the top of the key. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Picks off the lazy pass. They're off into transition. They're working around the perimeter. Steals a pass. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Utah State have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Kick it back outside. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Dick, he's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. The Aggies lead by six. to pick up the defense here now. The center with the ball. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. In and out. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Executes the baby hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. Should have basketball help one another communicate. The small forward gets the ball. He launches the bomb. He gets it to fall. There's the trap. He was applying great pressure defense. Went for the steal, but he wound up with a personal foul instead. You see, that's what happens when you go for the steal. You end up with a necessary personal foul. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. The Horn Frogs trail by nine. The 
the center gets the pass. Rejects it. Definitely a foul. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dan. Okay, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Jumped in front to take it away. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Here's another look, Dick. And now they'll bring it up. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts you can play. How he gets the rejection. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. They work it around the perimeter. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Gets it to fall. Looking for a good shot. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He shoots from the baseline. Off the rim and no good. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. For two, perfectly executed. Gave it up. Coach looks on. Focused. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. The power forward takes the feed. Arm and foul. And he's going to pick up the foul. And oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what. He's disgusted. But so is his coach. He's got the man in the high post. If he can get it there. On the inside. From the baseline. They'll bring it out on top. He shoots from outside. Sinks it. On the dribble, gives it up. He intercepts it. He was guarding him tightly, and then he went for the steal. An unsuccessful attempt resulting in a personal foul. Hey, defenders must be confident they're going for a steal. If not, it'll often end up with a personal foul. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. He makes the second. The Aggies throw a sink, and emotionally, they can't seem to bring themselves up, Dick. Frustrated, Brad? That may be an understatement. It'll be interesting to see how they manage this situation. Goes. Working around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. He shoots from the top of the circle. Edwards buries the tray. They work the perimeter. Gave it up. Picks off the pass. 
on the dribble, gives it up, executes the baby hook. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. The center takes the pass. He launches a three. Off the rim and no good. Steals the pass. For the bucket. The lay -in. Intercepted. With a long bomb. Puts it up looking for contact. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. For the deuce. Perfectly executed. Dickey still applying great pressure on the dribbler. Great play to take that to the basket. Picked off. Pushes it up. Up and inside. Wide open for the shot. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. Working it around the perimeter. Shoots. Makes the shot. Looking for a good shot. Picks off the lazy pass. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. Gave it up. Moving it around the perimeter. Look at that spacing. Double team now, bad angle. Takes it off him. For two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. On the outside. Now they work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Pull up jumper from way out. The shot won't fall. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He shoots from the low post. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, down here on the sidelines, there is such intensity from both benches. Both coaches are emphasizing shot selection and defensive stops. So important here in the second half. Thanks, Aaron. Tries for two. TCU are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They get the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Looking for the foul. Drops the bucket despite the harm. The Aggies have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Barnes is receiving great praise from the fans. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. Up and inside. For the bucket. And he missed. Jumped in 
in front to take it away. Fast break possibility coming. Goes up for two. He puts it in with contact and all. Great defense. Gave it up. They work it around the perimeter. Picked out of the air. On the dribble, gives it up. Takes away the pass. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. And now the fadeaway jumper. I tell you, great footwork, too, to create that opportunity. And then he's got the touch. What an offensive play. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He tries the three ball. Comes way out court, and they'll have another chance. Looking for a good shot. The ball goes out of play. That's a great play. What a play. Demonstrating unbelievable skill. Now look at him. He's celebrating with the cheerleaders. Hey, he's out of control, Brad. He wants everyone to get up and enjoy the moment, including the cheerleaders. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. Leans in. Perfectly executed. Moving it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Number 55. It's good. He drew the foul off the hard take to the hoop. Nice job, young man. Number 41 set to record his first action. Hey, this guy will give you a great hustle on the defensive end of the floor. He steps up to the line. He can't get one to fall. He intercepts it. Fake. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. He's got an open look for the shot. Here's a double team. He shoots from outside. Can their defense get him back in the game, Dick? I'll tell you, it's going to be a long hike back, Brad. He takes the shot. Rims out. Picks off the pass. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Takes the pass in the paint. They move it into the front court. The lay -in. They are hitting some great shots. Not a whole lot you can do on defense when they're hitting good shots. On the dribble, gives it up. They come with a double team to stop it. Steals the ball. Goes up for two. Off the rim and no good. He intercepts it. Jumps in. 
Basket falls despite the contact. They'll work it around the arc. In the paint. Controlling the ball. Get that sucker out of the game, man. For two. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. He wants a three. Rims out. Defense giving some room. He unloads. Off the rim and no good. Now, back it out. Now they reset the play. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. What a terrific job on a defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nestler. from the top of the circle. Makes it! Looks at the three. Rims out! On the outside. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. And the ball goes out of play. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. He looks for the bomb. He makes the shot. Shot clock is dead. Gave it up. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. I think he's trying to rattle his opponent. Oh, oh Brad, he's torn him his opponent. Well, Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won and lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers miss opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. Dick, I think the better team won, we can say that, and uh, it's heartbreak for the other club, but, you know, you got to win it and keep on going to get to that final Monday night in April. Well, I'll tell you, they won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. The Aggies opened the tournament with an impressive first-round victory. Winning that game was so important. A big first win not only keeps the team's championship hopes alive, but does wonders to calm these kids' nerves entering the second round. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron.